Before we start talking about the details of setting up a GitHub Pages website, let's talk about some of the underlying concepts. Managing a GitHub Pages website is actually easier than some of the other workflows that we've talked about in this unit. The direction of communicating with GitHub is only one direction. You only ever push to GitHub. You don't really need to pull anything back down. The website is set up on the repository on your home computer using a text editor, and then the content is pushed to GitHub. When the content reaches GitHub, it triggers a rendering engine called Jekyll, which will turn the markdown that's on GitHub into HTML in the form of a regular website. So to illustrate this, let's take a look at what the information looks like at these three stages. When I'm working on my home computer, I'm editing Markdown just like I normally do on my code or text editor. So here you can see some of the same kind of formatting that we've looked at in other lessons. Once that gets pushed to GitHub, however, the page is rendered into Markdown for us to look at if we want. And we can see that it looks like normal rendered Markdown, except that there is this header here with some other information. When the website gets rendered, it looks like this. So there's styling here. We can see the publication section here is the same as it looked here, more or less, and here. But this configuration section at the top brings in other elements that are not actually on this particular page. So for example, the callouts that you see at the top here, and the sidebar that is enabled here shows up at the right side of the page. And there's also this hero image at the top, which is designated right there, and that makes the background for the top. So a lot of the styling that you see on the website is a part of the theme that we use 